We're here at Maze Mayhew's studio. This is an awesome studio, Maze. How did this all come together? Thank you. Well, my husband and I moved to Aurora a year and a half ago, and when we were looking for a home, we were looking for something that was big. Uh, this is 1,200 square feet, and so I needed a place for, to show my artwork and to actually work. Uh, when we moved here, the basement was really bad. It was dark blue, the floor was bad, there was moisture, which is something that we cannot have with artwork. So we worked a lot with um, painting the whole studio right before we moved in and sealing it all up and uh, doing a lot of water mitigation around the house to make sure that this studio is as dry as possible. And I, um, I love it, it's, it's bright. It, it uh, inspires me to work every day and I call this my sanctuary. This is definitely a great space. How often are you able to be in your studio? Oh, I'm here every day, every year. My typical day is uh, seven to one with the kids and then one to nine, I'm in here. It's a wonderful thing to have a home studio. So if I'm working on something or I get an email that's hot, I can just go to the, the office part, work on it, shoot it up, uh, the answer and then get back to the kids if I need to or stay down here. This also allows me to uh, watch the kids, they're four and five, um, all the time when I'm in the house and keep a ear out for what's going on and eyes on them and to continue to work on my artwork. You also homeschool your kids as well. Yes, so we homeschool seven to uh, 12 every day and uh, we have a classroom here and we use a program called Becca. so they do the teaching. I'm the side teacher, if you will. And then uh, after lunch and recess, then they can watch some videos uh, by themselves, like they do sign language every day, and they do Spanish every day, and then they'll do some fun math every day, and then we'll have an elective. And so that's from one to four. So I can work down here while they, can, while they do sign language, Spanish, uh, math, or science. 